Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to understand how to draw the ellipse by intersection arc method. So this is the question, draw the ellipse with major axis 100mm and minor axis as 80mm. So first of all we have to draw this major axis and minor axis. So this is our major axis which is 100mm and I will name it as AB. After making this major axis, we have to find out the midpoint of this major axis. So total is 100 mm. So half is 50 mm. And this is the midpoint and I will name it as O. And from this point O, I will make a minor axis which is 40 mm above and 40 mm downside because total axis is 80 mm. And I will name it as CD. Now I will measure A to O. Take the compass and mark and distance of AO and put your compass at point C and mark an arc on major axis. Name it as F1 which is your first focus of your ellipse. In the same way, mark an arc on major axis like this and name it as F2 which is focus 2. So we have focus 1 and focus 2 on major axis. After marking your focuses on major axis, now I will divide my line from F1 to O into some divisions like this. I will take it as a first division, then second division, then third division and then fourth division. So total I have divided this F1 to O into five divisions. Students, it is not important that it is equal or unequal. You can take it as a equal or unequal. It doesn't matter. And name it as 1, 2, 3, 4. So there is a no standard to divide this line into 5 divisions. You can also take it as a more than 5 or less than 5. But to make an ellipse approximately, we will take it as a 5 divisions. Now, we will take the distances from A to 1, then A to 2, then A to 3 and A to 4 and take F1, F2 focuses as a centers and mark an arc. So initially we will take A to 1 as a distance means from A to 1 as a distance and take F1 as a center and mark an arc like this. See this, I have marked an arc over here. In the same way downside I will mark an arc. Again open the same compass and come over F2 and mark an arc over here. Upside and downside as well. In the same way take distances from A to 2 and same procedure take F1 and F2 as a center and mark an arc. You can see here the first arc and downside we have an arc. In the same way from F2 put your compass over F2 and mark an arc over here upside and downside as well. Now again take a distance A to 3 and put your compass at F1 and mark an arc like this. Again downside as well. Now come to F2 and mark an arc like this and also downside. In the same way take A to 4 distance and put your compass on F1 and mark an arc like this and downside as well. Now come to F2, put your compass at F2 and mark an arc like this, upside and downside as well. Now we will take the distances from point B and 1 now. So we will take these distances and mark an arc. So take B to 1 distance and mark an arc by F1 and F2 as centers. But you must remember that when you take F1 as a center, then you have to put an arc on the opposite side like this. You can see this. This is an arc over here and downside as well. So you can see this. This is the intersections of two arcs. That is why this process is known as intersection arc methods. So we have the intersection of two arcs. That's why it is known as intersection arc method. Now in the same way, take your compass on F2 now and mark an arc but opposite side now. See, you can see this. This is an arc over here and this is an arc over here. In the same way, take distances B to 2 and mark an arc by F1 and F2 but on the opposite side. 
so I will put my compass on F1 and mark an arc over here and mark an arc on the downside as well. In the same way, put your compass on F2 now and mark an arc over here and downside as well. Now we will consider the B3. Now put your compass on F1 and mark an arc over here and mark an arc downside. And put your compass on F2 now and mark an arc opposite side over here and downside as well. Now take the distance from B to 4 and mark an arc by taking F1 as center and opposite side like this and downside as well. In the same way, put your compass on F2 and mark an arc like this and downside as well. Students, in this way, you have the intersection of arcs. Now, you can join this arc by freehand like this. So, you can see this. This is my ellipse by intersection arc method. Now, you can give the dimensioning to major axis and minor axis, which is 180 mm. So, this is the completion of question. I hope you understand this intersection arc method. If you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be happy.